Hello, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and this is Desmond, Desmond Stonders. Welcome to part one of our trip to Ox Hill Walk. We're back at Ox Hill Walk. It's been over a year since we were last here from a Covid day out and over two years since we were here on a visit. So we'll take a walk and see if anything's changed. There's lots of birds about considering it's autumn. Diary, 16th of September, 2021. We pick up Desmond from the garage. No fan fix yet, but the parts are on order. Lindsay is off to work and I'm headed out to Ox Hill to chill. The weather is great, but it does not look good for the weekend. On arrival, I pick a spot and get parked up. Antennas are up and working and the birds here seem to think it is spring again. They are singing as if it is anyway. I have a growing species list including some birds that I thought would have gone home for the winter. The car park is quiet and I am the only one here at the moment. It is not a motorhome hotspot, just a place to relax and take an easy walk. I mix up the food so I'm having two lunches today. I listen to the radio, watch the film and then I headed for bed. The start of the walk, at least the start of the small walk. And this walk, or rather this, is the start of the long walk. Burn of time it. Exactly level, but there's Desmond. It's amazing, it really is. It's like summer here, it's warm, and there's bees and insects and birds, the sun shining. It's an incredible day. The Oxhill Short Walk. And we're off up on it. And the burn running beside the footpath for about half of the walk. Fall off the edge. Seventeenth of September, twenty twenty one. I am up and at the world, but not too early. The weather is not as nice as yesterday, but much less windy, so given the chance I may get to fly. After listening in on the radio, I did just that. I went out to fly. I flew about the car park, up and down the burn, before trying up the road a little. But then it was time to land and concentrate on lunch and what I was going to do afterwards. Turns out I filled the afternoon 
with birding and radio. Oh, and the odd cup of tea. Craig brought Lindsay when she'd finished work and we settled in for the evening. It is getting dark quite early these days and it's still weeks before the clocks go back. We read our books and listen to the radio before bedtime. The outward path and as we come to the left there's Lindsay and that path there is the path we'll come down as we return around the loop on the bridge and uh, well the first bridge looking at the mud bank following the stream down over the bridge and there's a stream coming down the other side we're looking at uh, the trees and they seem to be devastated of fruit every cherry every apple is gone of September 2021. The weather once again is bright and sunny. The forecast was for rain. Lindsay went for a walk after breakfast and found most if not all the cherries and apples were missing. Later Lindsay and I went for the same walk and investigated. It had not been picked as the fruit was missing from inaccessible places. There have been plenty of pollinators as the rowan etc are all present. We then noticed signs of spraying and wondered if the path weed spraying had infected the trees. We completed the loop and as we descended spotted a roe deer feeding in a glade. We tried to photograph but I only had the pocket two with me and Lindsay got the best photo with her longer lens. We then returned to the van for a late lunch. Lindsay decided to head out for another walk up the hill. I read and played radio having twisted my knee on return from the last walk. So time for a copper when Lindsay returned. Lindsay then nipped out again around the short walk to try for some sunset shots and that's easier written than said. Then it was time to eat and listen to radio. It was soon time for bed. It is getting dark early. 19th of September 2021 the RSGB news was on HF today. I could not hear Ron on two metres. After breakfast, we drank our tea, then took a break in the rain to drop the mast. More tea, then it's time to pack up and head off for home.
we're just about to recross the burn. At the second bridge. We're at the top of the slope downtown and we're heading back towards Desmond. Uh, walk along and show you the slope. There was nothing to show between the bridge and here because you're walking alongside the road and uh, all you get is the sound of the traffic. Not much of it but it seems to know as normal when the camera is switched on and recording. Not sure it's going to show on this camera, but I'll try and make it bigger. There's a deer, roe deer by the looks of it, eating at the base of that railing. Wildlife, carpet moth, small white, Small tortoiseshell, peacock butterfly, red admiral, speckled wood, roe deer, hoverfly. Birds, buzzard, rook, chaffinch, wood pigeon, wren, blue tit, long tailed tit, willow warbler, robin, goldfinch, coal tit, great tit, chiff chaff, swallow, Carrion crow, black headed gull, blackbird, pheasant. We're nearly at the end now and through the trees there you can just make out Desmond at the entrance to the trail. Just a short walk but an interesting one and hopefully the deer pictures come out. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.